is Nika with That Girl Saves. And tonight we are making Dollar Tree pizza. Dollar Tree, yes, from the Dollar Tree. Everything we have here came from the Dollar Tree. Here's the pasta sauce, the pepperonis, the pizza crust. And this pizza crust is really good. And for the first time, we're trying this um, Virgo cheese. We've never tried that before. We also have some of our own cheese that we've had in the fridge that uh, we need to go ahead and use. So we're gonna use some of that too if that's just not enough. This is about how much is in that bag, which is about three ounces. You might wanna buy two if you're gonna use a Dollar Tree cheese. All right, so I got some friends here today. Hey guys. hey guys. All right guys, so my little helpers here, they each have one pack of pepperonis. This is real simple. Only thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray, I'm gonna spray down the pan. Then he's gonna grab his pizza crust. Okay, good job, buddy. And they're gonna make their pizza. done and we're ready to put these in the oven at 450 degrees for about 10 minutes or until it's all nice and bubbly hot good job guys thank you you're thank welcome you. your pizza looks awesome all right let's see what it looks like when it comes out of the oven so here's the kids pizza all done and uh these are good guys even me and my husband will eat these pizzas um on a night that i just decide i don't want to cook uh, another thing you can put on them, you can hear the kids in the background, I'm sorry y'all. Another thing you can put on it is sausage. So if I cook breakfast and we have sausage left over, I'll take that sausage, I'll crumble it up, put it in the freezer. Perfect for pizzas. If we have leftover um, taco meat from 
uh, a night that we have tacos or taco salads, I'll put that in the freezer and I'll pull that out and we can put that on top of the uh, pizzas. Um, just, you know, any kind of meat you have left over. Ham, we put ham on pizzas, it tastes good. Um, so yeah, uh, anything you can think of, you can top on this pizza, throw that cheese on there, put it in the oven. Y you can't go wrong with pizza. All right, the pizza's all done and the boys are getting ready to come back in and eat their pizza. I just put it with a salad. We had salad left over, so that's what they're having with their pizza tonight. Um, this was a quick and easy meal. It took maybe 15 minutes. And notice the kids loved it. They had fun. And they're going to eat all of this. On a night like tonight, when we are off of our meal plan, because I didn't have anything planned for tonight, guys. Um, this pizza was in my pantry. We had everything that we needed. And that's kind of how we do. We buy some extra like I said, these came from the Dollar Tree. We buy some extra, have it back there. So when there's nights that I don't feel like cooking, like I didn't even, there's not even sausage on there or a hamburger. I, I wasn't going to make any. I didn't have any in the freezer. So we just went with the pepperoni that we had from the Dollar Tree. And um, that's, that's what we're eating tonight for dinner. Another thing you can do with pizza is you can top it with hamburger. You can top it with sausage. Whenever we have anything left over like hamburger or sausage, I'll freeze it, crumble it up, freeze it put in the freezer just to have for later and they can put it on top of their pizza on a night that I don't feel like cooking guys do you have any wacky pizza combinations any concoctions that you try on your pizza let us know down in the comments we'd love to try it we'd love to try new things and the kids will get a kick out of it yeah. if you guys haven't subscribed yet go ahead and press that like button I'm putting up new content every week so come back and join us and I'll talk to you later Oh, my God.